Hey everyone, Matt Montella here, and I'm back from Florida Supercon. I actually have a haul video that I'm going to do tomorrow. I have it up on that day as well. But uh, that's not what we're talking about right now. We're going to talk about the Legend of Tarzan. The first thing I want to ask though was, was this really necessary? Did anyone even make billboards saying, we need a new Tarzan movie because, you know, people don't know the story. So we're just going to bring it and try to make it appeal to a large audience. Which, which, for a story like this, people were okay with it. Sorry, I'm fixing my hair. Just got out of the shower. But anyway, I saw it. And what did I think of it? It was surprisingly okay. It could have been a lot worse, though. And that's saying something, considering that this is a reboot-ish. But I, yeah, let's talk about some of the things that I liked and didn't like. I guess I should start with the things I didn't like. First off being that the amount of CG in this movie is very abundant. I think they could have used a little less CG or make it a little bit better. Because, I don't know. It's like when you look at movies like Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and what was that? Oh, the Jungle Book remake. All those movies they make you think that CG could be used for good reasons, but then all of a sudden we got this and all of a sudden we're just starting to go backwards. And I don't know why because the movie apparently had a big budget. But, eh. CG, I thought, could have been better. Especially on the animals. Some of it looks good. But there were a ton of times where I could tell, okay, that's computers. But uh, anyway, though. And... The pacing at times could be a bit, a bit slow at times, but it does make up for it with with some cool action. And then there's these characters, and honestly, you don't, you didn't really need them, honestly. Like, uh, Jaiman Honsu, I think that's how you say his name, he plays, the, like, the chief of all these natives. And honestly, you could have cut him out for the movie. He just wasn't that interesting. And some of the characters are a bit clunky at times. Like, like a J Jane. She could have been like this very, like this very changed incarnation of the original character who was sort of a damsel in distress. Done right. But here, it just felt like a missed opportunity. And her acting. Uh, the actress is uh, Margaret Robbie, who's going to play uh, Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. Can't wait for that movie. But her acting really wasn't that good, honestly. Like how, like Jade is supposed to have, I, I said Jade, Jane. She's supposed to have like a British accent. Margaret Robbie didn't bring... Margaret Robbie apparently didn't 
know how to do British accents, I guess. So she, I guess she stuck to her American accent. And I just didn't think it fit. The rest of the characters, though, are okay. Are okay. Tarzan... Hmm... I mean, I've seen the Disney version, so I kind of already know what the story is going to be, even though even though this incarnation really isn't the same story, actually. But come on, we all know what happens. His parents die, they and um and there's these gorillas, they find him as a baby. So I pretty much already knew it. But uh, the rest of the characters are okay. Tarzan as well, I thought was okay. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson was really good. But let's face it, Samuel L. Jackson is good in everything. And as for uh, Christoph Waltz as the villain... I thought he... His acting was, and as a, was both a villain and acting wise, he was so-so. Could have been a little bit more threatening, but, but, eh. At the moment, I thought he was an okay villain. And there's like these diamonds that he has to find, or crystals, whatever they are. You honestly could have cut that out from the movie, too. Even though... Which I know what they're going for. They're trying to go for, like, a different incarnation of the story. And... From time to time, you actually do get some nice visuals. At first, I thought the idea of making, making it all look very gray and all of that... I just didn't think it was a good idea at first, but then I do realize that there are that the jungle does seem like that at times. But anyway, and uh, what else? And uh, you actually do get some nice uh, cinematography. For the most part. And the directing is very good. And you also do get some uh, good music too. Which nobody ever talks about in a movie actually. But uh, yeah. Overall. I thought it was okay. It does have its flaws. Yeah. But for the most part. I was surprised. Not a surprise that I, as I thought it was, I was going to be, but, but overall, I think this movie barely passes, at least from my perspective. So overall, I'm going to give it a C plus. It barely passes by this much because, because the good stuff, I, because the good stuff is mostly there. Yeah, the negatives sometimes are exploited at you a lot. But for the most part, I think the positives outshine outshine the negatives. For the most part. But uh, yeah, that's all for today. I'm going to do a Supercon haul video tomorrow. Show you what I got at the convention. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.